Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Sangeeta Nair. The government has no plans to enact the Freedom of Information Act and relevant laws to protect whistleblowers because the Official Secret Act is sufficient. Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Dato Sri Nazri Aziz, told Parliament Thursday that the Cabinet can meet at any time to decide if it is necessary to amend the Act. Nazri says the Anti-Corruption Agency will work with the Audit Department to tackle flaws in the government agencies where corruption, abuse of power and fraud can take place. Answering a question by Kota Raja MP Dr Siti Maria Mahmud, Nazri says the Anti-Corruption Agency has charged 544 government officers and staff with various offences between 2003 and 2007. Malaysia Today editor Raja Petra Kamarudin has agreed to let his wife Marina Lee Abdullah post bail for him at the Pataling Jaya Sessions Court. Marina finally got to see her husband on Thursday after he twice refused to meet her on Wednesday. Well, I did send him a note yesterday yeah, when I couldn't see. see yeah, so I think probably my note did, did help a bit. Mm -hmm. All my note said was, I want you home. She says Raja Petra is fine despite spending two nights in jail after his arrest for sedition. He has been charged under the Sedition Act for posting nine paragraphs of sensitive words in the news portal. Raja Petra is expected to be released on, on Friday. Meanwhile, the Human Rights Commission of Malaysia, or Suhakam, says Raja Petra's arrest is an infringement on the freedom of speech. Suhakam Commissioner Dato N. Siva Subramaniam says Suhakam is concerned with the Sedition Act being used to curb freedom of speech. Subramaniam says the fundamental freedom preserved in the Constitution, including the freedom of speech and freedom of peaceful assembly, must be safeguarded. Pasimas Independent MP Dato Ibrahim Ali has apologised to disabled people for his remarks in the Dewan Rakyat. The controversial Ibrahim had irked opposition MPs when he teased wheelchair-bound Karpal Singh for not standing up when speaking last Wednesday. Saya nak menarik perhatian masa dan cara bercakap. Yang berhormat daripada Bukit Gelugo, bercakap duduk, dia tak pernah minta pun untuk berdiri. Ini pun melanggar peraturan. He has faced pressure from disabled groups who have demanded that he apologise and retract his remarks. Ibrahim, however, remains adamant in his refusal to say sorry to Karpal Singh. De facto Law Minister Dato Zayed Ibrahim says he expects the framework for the Judicial Appointment Commission to be tabled to the Cabinet in three weeks. He says reforms have been put in place to clear the backlog cases in courts. He adds that the move is expected to show results in six months. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Sangeeta Nair. Thanks for watching.